Hi, this is the calibration process for the mini satellite antenna rotator. Here I've got the Arduino Pro Micro, an LSM303D sensor, an LSM303DLHC sensor, and a piezo buzzer connected together on a prototyping board. I'm going to compile and load the program. This is Rotator 5 software. That's how it should look when it programs. I'm going to open the serial monitor and I'm going to press the reset button. Pressing R and Enter it gives you the reset string. This sensor has been calibrated before. The first thing I'm going to do is enter the magnetic declination. I'll say 11.6 E11.6 enter and press save and there it is entered the magnetic declination. Now to calibrate the sensor, here it is here, we're going to think of the sensor with six sides, the top, the bottom, the front, the back, the right and the left side. Each side needs to be faced towards the gravitational vector which is straight down and the magnetic vector which in this location is pointing upwards at an angle of about 76 degrees. We're first going to calibrate the gravitational vector. We press C and enter. We need to move the sensor around until the beeping stops. Let's press enter now. So the bottom of the sensor is pointing towards the gravity vector. Let's move the sensor gently around that point. Now let's angle the right side of the sensor towards the ground and move it around. Now let's angle the left side of the sensor and move it around. Now let's angle the back of the sensor towards the ground and again just move it gently around that position. Now let's turn the front side of the sensor towards the ground. At each time we wait until the beeping stops. Now we're going to point the sensor in the six cardinal directions towards the, the magnetic vector which is pointing upwards. We turn it around until we find the vector. We may have already got a maximum value and it may not beep in this direction. That's the front side. Now let's try the right side. Again, move it around. There doesn't seem to be any more calibration points there. Now let's try the left side. There are some that we need there, so we'll collect those. Now let's try the back side. It helps sometimes to just move it gently around until you find all of them. Now let's move the top side. And finally, the bottom side is pointing towards the magnetic vector. Now that we've done that, you should be able to gently turn it in all directions and if you've done it correctly there won't be any further 
calibration points. If you do find some, concentrate about that area. I think we have a good calibration there. So now we'll press S to save and R to reset and we have finally calibrated the sensor and that's all there is to it. If you want to do it more carefully you'll get a better calibration but you can certainly start with a quick calibration like that.